Philip. Hey! <laughs> hey! How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Good to nice see you. To see you. Yeah. You want to tell us about it? Well, 1926 Ford Model T, two-door sedan. Yeah. These relatives of mine who drove it in high school from 1950 to 54, and they parked it. I dragged it out in 2010 and started tinkering away on it. I was working on the original engine, 26 engine. It was full of mice nests. Savable, but a lot of work. It would have been like a full rebuild. So a friend of mine gave me this T engine, which is a 1917. And so it doesn't have a starter and a generator, but it still works in the car fine. And we rebuilt that. It hadn't run in about 40 years. But yeah. it's at least free turning. Yeah. And so we did a rebuild on that one and rebuilt the rear end. It had a Ruxel rear end in it, which I'm saving. Yeah. Because Ruxel parts are expensive. I don't have the money to rebuild that one. It's a two speed rear end. Right. And so we rebuilt a standard rear end for it without, you know, no yeah. two speed. And the tires. Yeah. Roadmaster back seat. Uh, um, tumbled, cleaned the gas tank, got the lights working. And that's pretty much all I've done to it. I noticed nice new tires on that, baby. It's yeah. good. No, the guy in the T Club had them lying in his garage free. So hey. A lot of guys in the T Club have helped me out. That's great. But yeah, it's, it's registered, it's insured. I've been driving it almost every day. Right? Have you really? It's a lot of fun. Yeah, that's great. But yeah, it's either, the guy didn't know, it's either tar from the roof or he left an inner tube on there. He kind of deteriorated. Burn for it. Yeah. We'll start it up for you if you want. Love to. I'm going to put this on YouTube, so yeah, go ahead, crank it up. I should have brought my camera. I haven't put, put much on lately. Oh, yeah? I'll loan you one if you want to walk around with one all day. cost. That's a big one. Thank you. I always carry a spare. Guess what the average American income in 1912 was? Excited! It's a little hard to start. Well, five or six hundred dollars. I mean, I've only had this engine in for about a week and a half, so it's still pretty tight. Yeah. Boy, she looks real good, Philip. I can tell you've done a lot of work since last year. Thanks. Yeah, I can tell. Last year, you know, the engine wasn't rebuilt, wasn't running right. Yeah. It runs like a top now. Yeah, the whole thing just looks a lot tighter than it was, too. Yeah. yeah thanks. You need to come up to your shop and look around. Yeah, the place is quite a mess right now. You know, we ready for Volkswagen, so I got Volkswagen motors all over the place. Uh, trying to figure out. See mine, you go walk, stepping around stuff. Yeah. And all over things. Yeah. new floorboard you got there. Yeah, I didn't have front floorboards. I cut those on some vines. Yeah. Yeah, I'll need to come eat that. So we'll I'll ride around once I get the MG back on the road. It's all electrical issues. It's a British car, of course. You know? Yeah. So. Did it come with a British mechanic? <laughs> <laughs> I always heard they did. I know, I need to go for a ride, you know, for rap on. That'd be cool. Yeah, I've never been out. You know my cousin Sam, he's been up there. Yeah. Yeah, Sam's riding all over the place. In there. I think he's oh, gonna okay. try and show up there. Yeah. Well, I'll come down and take a look at your stuff. I'm gonna go get a drink. Now. Yeah, I'm gonna mosey down. I'll see you later. Yeah, nice seeing you. You too.